everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I'm doing a how to read all of the books. Now a lot of you guys tweet me and snapchat me and instagram me asking me how I read so many books and I am quite a fast reader generally but um it also has got a lot to do with other factors so I'm kind of sharing like my personal tips and tricks with you guys to help you guys read all the books, all of the books all at once. So the first tip I'm going to give is reading through different techniques or reading through different means. So there are many very different ways of reading. Uh, there is the conventional picking a book off the shelf, opening it and reading it. Oh, hello, Six of Crows. There is reading your books on your phone. Now, I find it really, really helpful to read Kindle books. For me, reading a Kindle book and a physical book at the same time keeps it really separate and I kind of keep the stories really separate. So it helps me reading two books at a time. Also, reading books on your Kindle as well is really beneficial because if you're going traveling, like anywhere you're traveling, on a train, bus, in a car, if you're walking, if you're sitting, waiting for somewhere, then you and you don't and you didn't realize you were going to have that spare time having a phone and having a kindle app which is free to download on your phone is so so helpful because you can like fit in a five minutes of reading here 10 minutes of reading there and it really all adds up and accumulates over time meaning that you actually read quite a lot in the month there's also other means like audible which is the audiobook um app thing you can listen to audiobooks and things like that and um, that's always a really good one for when you're on the go and if you're like cleaning your room or if you're cooking or something like that that's what i normally do or if you're going on really extensive long trips and you're driving a car, for me, that is really helpful. Um, I listened to the whole of the Queen of Tearley in a car journey with Sasha when we were coming back from Scotland. So it's a very, very beneficial way of fitting in extra books during the time which you didn't know you'd have to spare. Dedicate time to reading. Now, for me, I, find, I found it really hard, especially this year with work, to fit time in for reading. I would always be like, I haven't read for a day. But now I kind of ensure that I have at least a slot of time every single day to read. Now, you may think, God, oh, that kind of like takes the fun away from it but it really doesn't actually it gives you something to look forward to because as book readers and book lovers we absolutely love reading so knowing that you have an hour in the evening or an hour in the morning where you're going to be reading every day is perfect it's a brilliant brilliant either start your day or end your day so it's a win-win no matter what time of day you choose so for me I like to allot myself an hour's time in the day when I'm working I like to take a break from about 1 till 3 or 12 till 2 um, and I like to eat and read during that time and and normally I can get a lot of reading done because I'm quite a quick reader anyway. Um, so yes, allotting yourself a set time to read is very beneficial for you to shrink down your TBR piles because I know we have big ones. I have a match. Another really fun way of including yourself in reading and kind of encouraging yourself is through read-alongs and book clubs. Now there are book clubs and read-alongs every which way turn you take on the book world. On booktube, on bookstagram, just to name a few. We have the Read With Ben book club which I run the Book Explosion book club which Jesse the Reader, Kat and uh, Christine run and you have many many more like there's so many there's so many different book clubs all around the place so definitely definitely go and check those out now they are really great tools to use um, and tools to keep in your toolkit really of reading because it motivates you to read when you're buddy reading with somebody or reading with a group it's a very great motivator especially when it builds up this whole community and friendship vibe where you're talking to people and reading them now I mentioned this for example, next month I'm hosting a read along with Taylor, who has an amazing YouTube and amazing Bookstagram account. And we are hosting a read along over on Instagram, and we're reading The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. Zentner. And this is really fun because we're going to be reading on Instagram, and it's really interactive. So there's so many book clubs you can choose from. And yeah, it's a really great way of motivating yourself. So if you want motivation, if you want to kind of increase your passion for it and excitement for reading a book, then definitely read with somebody else because it might make you want to read more. So there are my top tips of how to read all the books. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any top tips, let me know down below in the comments. And if not, give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And I will see you all again in another video very soon. Bye bye!